Welcome back to the channel everyone. You're here with Dave from Mad for Heli. We are putting the TB70 together. This is episode 11, tail boom. So, off camera, I pulled the bag apart. I forgot to hit the record button. Anyway, we're here. So, I have pulled the belt through. Now, for those who struggled to pull the belt through, you can use a long piece of wire, you can use a long piece of string, or for me, you can use the tail rod that's provided, and all you need to do is pick up the loop, the loop inside the tail boom, and push the belt down. And then towards I get to the end, like I've shown you before, I've got a little bit of wire that fits in my toolbox, and I just pull it out with that. Hopefully we don't lose it. Pretty simple, quick video. The, don't, I don't actually know if it's full carbon or there's alloy in there. I, if there's alloy in there, wow, but I think it's actually a full carbon boom. It's pretty nice. Anyway, the, sorry for out of camera there, the fitment is spot on. A little bit of gunk in those holes, but that's all right. Everything lines up. Like so. We place the fancy little washer, plastic washer, over the end. And we do it up. And I lock to it. See if that's gonna go in. It does say to put the boom in first in the manual. I'm trying to prove it wrong. So I'm not gonna put the boom in just yet. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna test all the electronics first. The Neo's in, it's not, it's not taped down, uh, it's wired up. Before I put the boom on, I just wanna make sure all the electrics work as they should. So I don't have to take it off again, because you know if you have to redo servo wires, change them around to get the orientation right. And I put them on the wrong way. Oh, that's a pain in the butt, that's gonna annoy me. The aligner's upside down. Had to put the writing on it, didn't you? Alright, put the right one on. OCD. It's not like you're going to be looking at it while inverted that close. It's a light boom. It is a light boom. I gotta give you, gotta give it that. It's a, almost one of the lightest booms I've used. And the, this gets in the way. So if you're trying to take your boom off, to take that out now, you probably have to take the tail fin off, which is annoying. The little things. It's all these little things that I'm finding. It's happened. All right. Tight. Now the rod, the control rod, uh, is already pre-glued. So they've done a good job of that. So don't forget to stick this on. Boom. But you could put it on after, but you, you're at risk of potentially breaking it. You can you can split it apart. Now all we have to do now is um, tar rod on, put, put your ends on, give it a measure. You may have to adjust it later to get your pitch on your tail. One screw, it's a plastic screw. Um, all the align fans out there, 
they know about the sleeve. Basically your sleeve sits on there. You could do it last once you get the right position, roughly. Um, you can do it halfway. I like to do it just a little bit. I like to work in thirds. I'm a, also a, a photographer and kind of get it nearly in the third there, you know. So and then just a bit of CA, take it off, a little bit of CA, slide it over, done. No biggie. Um, I'm not gonna put it in the machine just yet. I don't know if I'll video put it in the machine. It's a bit of a, a bit of a bugger. But uh, that's it for that. Tail box onto the boom. Well, quick episode this one. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, appreciate all the likes and people subbing to the channel. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Episode 12. I'll run you through setup. Show you how I do it. Enjoy. See you later.